Good evening, my friends, and today we've got something new. We're playing a physical puzzle game. This is from a company called Puzzle Post, puzzlepost.uk, and they send out physical puzzle games. Now, this is not an ad, this is not sponsored, this is just a friend of mine bought me one. So, shout out to you, Nick. Thank you very much for this gift. Um, so, this is going to be a great activity for this afternoon. This is obviously something totally new for me, doing sort of downward recording onto my desk. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you'd like to see more of these physical puzzle games. For now, though, let's just jump straight into it. So, what you get when you open up the envelope is you get a letter which is addressed to you that I've just redacted uh, a little bit, and then you get an envelope which I've not opened yet. So, looking at this letter first, it says, Dear me, and this is from Hotel Plaza de Catalunya. I have a message from you. It's from a friend of yours, although I can't say who right now. I had planned to give it to you in person after my trip, but that's no longer possible. I'm in trouble. I have... I had one conversation with a journalist and things have spiralled from there. I'm in way over my head, my phone is tapped, my hotel room is bugged, and I'm not exactly sure who is after me. I'm sending you this message and going into hiding. I have stashed your message in an online vault and left you a series of puzzles in order to work out the passcode. Your friend is going to be annoyed with me, but it's the only way I can get it to you. So who is your friend there is an interesting question. Right. With a journalist thing spiral from here. My phone is tapped. No, 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 no. Right. Everything you need is in this envelope. The passcode is made up of seven parts. Each part is a number between one and a hundred. Once you have worked it out, put the code into puzzlepost.com slash the vault using that ID and your message will be revealed. To get you started, I would begin at Barca Cafe. That's where I am writing this from. Best of luck, Lucy K. Hopefully you can solve this alone, but if you get stuck, I have left some hints at... Right. The message will be available for six months before being deleted. And we have an address here. So let's have a look at what we have in the envelope. Okay, nothing else, nothing else in that envelope. So what do we have? Ooh. Right, we have a coaster with a maze on it. 36, 54, 65, pine cones, water, and wheat. And that is not the same on both sides. So we'll put that to the side there. We have Hotel Quattro Canti. Yeah, let me just pop these here. So Hotel Quattro Canti, room 1037, Lucy Kingston. Hang slash folders, fold number of pieces, four. These coffee cup icons are appearing in a few different places, aren't they? Investigative journalist, Copenhagen. Tips at alicejames.dk. Exist tempt. Mm -hmm. And there's a phone number there. Alice James, journalist. We have the Barca Cafe. And we have stamps. Now, I tell you what, right, immediately, we've got seven coffee cup stamps. They are all different colours. That is almost certainly going to be the order in which these need to be solved. So that coffee cup is number two. This red coffee cup is going to be number six. This green coffee cup is going to be number three. And so forth. So this, I don't think, I don't think this is a clue. On its own, I think this just tells you the order of the numbers. And there's nothing on the back of it. So I'll pop that there. We have a postcard of Europe. London, Amsterdam, Copenhagen, Berlin, Warsaw, Zagreb, Zurich, Paris, Barcelona, Rome, and Sicily. We read the article. Piazza Vittoria sounds nice. See you in Zagreb, Lucy K. And that's black, so that's number seven. We have a napkin, which has been printed one times French martini, one times pea haze. 
Jesus. No coffee cup on that one. Then we have Craft Brewery Collective Presents 2020 Annual Roadshow. CPH January 30, 2020. Keynote speaker Lucy Kingston siphoning out the truth. Barcelona, Sicily, Copenhagen, Barcelona, Zagreb. Sicily, Copenhagen, Barcelona, Zagreb. That would make the number four. Do you see that? Sicily, up to Copenhagen, Barcelona, Zagreb. Number four, question mark. The story of craft brewing from top to bottom. The beginning, how to start. Large corporates, when to compete. Pouring a craft, how to serve. Siphoning the truth, validating your methods. This is blue. No, purple. So that's four. Interesting. Then we have the Copenhagen Times. We've got another uh, coffee cup here. That's number five. A lot of reading to do on that one. Uh, Piazza Vittoria Cocktail Bar. Ah, interesting. Yeah, the orientation is also important. So that's number one. And then here we have a Croatia Air flight itinerary. Hang on, I thought I already had a black one for number seven. So we've got one, four. That's seven already, isn't it? So this, all oh right, so this must also be related to number seven as well. So we've got one, four, seven, three, six, two. Where's number five? Where's number five? Number five is a light blue one. Oh, here's number five. Great, cool. So I think we know, roughly speaking, where to get our numbers from then. So let's, um, let's have a look at number one and work through there. So I'm pretty, I'm, I think, I think we could probably assume that the clues relating to the different digits aren't going to relate to each other. So let's start here. Ah, now we have a napkin that asks for a purple haze. One times French martini. One times purple haze. Okay, well purple haze is absolute vanilla vodka, violet liqueur, egg white, lime juice, cranberry, and it's £6.50. French martini, vodka, French raspberry liqueur, pineapple juice, lemon, £8.50. All orders are subject to 20% sales tax. Okay, so 6 50 plus 8 50 that's going to be, uh, quick maths, 15 plus 20% sales tax, so that's plus 3, so 18. Try that. And uh, that might be those two clues already done. I don't think we need this. I don't think that's got any clues in it. I think that's just instructions. So we're going to put number one to the side already. Wow. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, number two. Oh, man. I'm feeling really confident about this. Uh, I, my confidence is going to be short-lived, though. I'm certain. So, this is Hotel Quattro Canti Palmero. Room number 1037. Name Lucy Kingston. Hang fold fold. Number of pieces four. Please call reception on 101 to let us know your laundry is ready for collection. We aim to return pieces within 24 hours. Ah, we've got some scissor lines there. Ah, shoot, I don't have any scissors. <laughs> oh no, I've been foiled by my lack of scissors. 
I don't keep scissors at my desk. Oh no, wait, shoot, I do keep scissors in my desk. Okay, there we go. Panic over. So, I think you've got to cut this and fold it. Okay. What does that say when you fold it that way? Ooh. Doesn't really say very much of anything. I don't want to cut it up any further, but it sort of looks to me like this N. Uh, no, those don't line up with each other. No, they, do, they don't line up with each other. It's kind of strange, right? Oh no, wait. Like, maybe? Uh, okay, so that N matches up there but why oh, I don't know it's a real struggle to get it to line up isn't it hmm hang fold fold That's an interesting one. It does look, it does kind of look like you're supposed to fold it, doesn't it? But it's not just a straight fold this way. Okay, let's come back to number two. Number three. So, I mean, you could take this path to get to the pine cones. Right, okay. These water droplets, those are definitely in a dead end. This wheat, those are definitely in a dead end. So, this is going to go to the pine cones. The pine cones. You could argue 36. And let's just validate, right? 54 is going to go to the water. 65 is going to go to the wheat. So yeah, so I think 36. Okay. So let's then have a look at number four. Right. Well, this one we already have a... Ah, do you know what, though? This is number seven. We drew a four on this map, but I think this is actually related to a different puzzle. But okay. The story of craft brewing from top to bottom. Let's have a little sip of tea. Okay, the story of craft brewing from top to bottom. The beginning, how to start. Where to start your journey as a craft brewer. And this is Elias Hall. 11 till 1 by M.A. Fitzgerald. Volume is king, what to look for in setting prices. Leaving your customers satisfied is the key to success. Seems like the big corporations are pulling the wool over our eyes. 
and expectations for your fermentation and where it often goes wrong. Keynote speaker Lucy Kingston siphoning out the truth. That's a bit of a tricky one. Okay. We're going to come back to number four. Hmm. Okay, let's have a look at number five. This is the long missive. So this is the Copenhagen Times. This is from a fake website. Okay, Denmark's most trusted national newspaper. Fake brews, the biggest scandal in craft brewing. Nothing on the back. European giant Europa is being sued by a group of small-time brewers from the Craft Brewery Collective who claim the retailer's line of craft beers is an egregious lie. Tyre Jackson, head of the Craft Brewery Collective, is championing a class-action lawsuit alleging Europa's line of Pilsner Nibiru beers as an act of fraud and false advertising. That is a bold thing to say. Pilsner Norabro has never been a craft beer, nor has it been produced by a craft brewery, the complaint reads. Rather, it is a wholesale fiction created by the defendant that was designed to deceive consumers into purchasing the craft beer at a higher inflated price. In defining a craft beer, Jackson refers to the Brewers Association, which say that true craft liquids have an annual production of 6 million barrels of beer or fewer. Although these allegations have been in the public sphere for many months now, this journalist has received an exclusive tip-off that this may not be the whole story. I met my source, who wished to remain anonymous for fear of retribution in a bar in Sicily, where she revealed a darker web of secrets. Her claims centred around Europa's involvement with foreign government officials and their manipulation of bars and restaurants across the continent. She claims that Europa has paid at least 100 million euros to various European governments over the last three years to secure access to and influence over alcohol licensing laws. Beyond this, there are also suggestions of violent threats against government officials in exchange for turning a blind eye to other illegal dealings taking place in Europa premises. The top secret payments are set out in documents which make clear that Europa expects a return on the investment and that governments have reacted with giving Europa's Pilsners, Nobro, hugely preferential treatment. We have also heard anecdotal evidence to suggest that there are shadier goings on in several Europa bars across Sicily and Barcelona. There are questions over how much the Craft Brewery Collective lawsuit will be undermined by Europa influence. Indeed, my source emphasises that the funding underlines the closeness of the relationship between Europa and top officials across the continent, it will raise fears about the hold about the hold large corporations have over one of Europe's biggest and most important industries and whether dependency on private business has become too great. Puzzle Prize Corner. CPH Times puzzle subscribers can play for cash prizes. We have three prize puzzles every week. Solve the puzzle below. Every collect correct submission is entered into the prize draw. Three winners are drawn every week. This competition, the promotion, is only open to DK residents, excluding employees and agents of the promoter, any company connected with distribution or promotion. Okay, entrance must be 18 or over at time of entry. Proof of eligibility must be provided on request. Interesting. Okay. So is this just, this is just a straight cipher, is it? Well, okay, so E would be K... U would be A, A would be G, CAG. Hmm. T, Z, KK, QQ, and J. Hmm, no. I wonder if it's the opposite way around. 
So E becomes Y, U becomes O, A becomes U. That seems a much more reasonable start, doesn't it? T becomes N, E, E, D, U, need, and L, F, I, F, uh, T, E, E, N. You need 15. Let's try number 15. Okay, so we might have that sorted. So then, uh, here we go. This is then clue number six. Investigative journalist, Copenhagen. There's your number. There's the email address. Oh, hang on a minute. No, not quite. Alice James, journalist. Tips at alicejames.dk Do you reckon alicejames.dk is a real website? Maybe. Check that out in a minute. Could be a real website. Now, here we go. We read the article, Piazza Vittoria Sounds Nice, See You in Zagreb. And what is this? Departure from Sicily, going to Copenhagen. Copenhagen to Barcelona. Ah, and then Barcelona to Zagreb. So I think it is a four, yeah, as I drew on here, because this order is the same as the order in the Craft Brewery Collective, yeah? But I think, I think it's a number four. Okay. Ooh, right. Three more puzzles to go. Maybe. Maybe. Shall we check out alicejames.dk? Okay, let's check out alicejames.dk. Doesn't look like a real website. No. www. AliceJames.dk's DNS address could not be found. So I don't think it's a real website. I wonder if it's a real email address. Okay, this is definitely going to need to be a little bit... Uh, this is definitely going to be a bit out there. Right. I'm just going to write something which is basically just like Alice James dot DK uh, tips at Alice James dot DK test test see if Alice James dot DK actually sends me back an automated response no address not found your message wasn't delivered to tips at alicejames.dk because the domain alicejames.dk could not be found. Check for typos or unnecessary spaces. Okay, so it's not that. I mean, this is a UK mobile number. Seven nine eight four three eight seven eight eight nine.
There's really not very much else to this clue. Investigative journalist Copenhagen. There's a phone number. 7984-387-889. An email address that doesn't go anywhere. Exist Tempt. That's a really interesting one, isn't it? I'm not sure what to do with that. Okay. Yeah, really not sure what to do with uh, with that one. I mean, I could try and text the number and see if the number comes back with a reply. Like, not very easily because my phone is literally <laughs> recording right now. So I'd need to stop the recording to go and do that. We'll have a think about that one. Okay, let's go back to number two. Right, we're four puzzles down, three puzzles to go. Hotel Quattro Canti Palmero. There was definitely a prompt to cut round that edge. Hotel Quattro Canti Palmero. I wonder if those are fold lines. Those are supposed to be fold lines. But. Hmm. Room number 1037, Lucy Kingston. Hang slash fold, fold. Number of pieces, four. I wonder if, I wonder if we're supposed to cut, cut it. could cut it but that would be pretty destructive i don't know if we'd be able to return it to how it was before we could cut it if i just cut if i just try and cut it neatly into quarters right let's try and cut that t <laughs> it makes me feel sad okay right Right, okay, so I've deliberately cut it into slightly uneven quarters so that you can uh, place it back together again. So if we were to fold this, these would fold around that way and come back this side, yeah? But to me, it almost looks like That looks like that lines up a lot better, doesn't it? N I N E nine nine T ninety seven. Yeah, ninety seven. 97. Oh, right. Good. <laughs> All right, 97. We got there. Man, it feels super risky cutting that up. 
We got two. We got two left. We got two left. Okay. Twenty twenty annual roadshow, January thirtieth, twenty twenty. Keynote speaker siphoning out the truth. It's not a number four. That was a different clue. The story of craft brewing from top to bottom. Right, from top to bottom. This has got to be like a... There's got to be some kind of... There's a spatial element to the clue. E E U E N W E H V E H E V E L U I'm looking at the I'm looking at the capital letters TLPSV, no, that's not a thing. How to start, when to compete, how to serve, siphoning out the truth, validating your methods. I think it's got to be on this side. is capitalized in king and the a is not capitalized in a study in glasses lk e r l k e n c hmm There's a tricky one, right? We've done the five easy puzzles. We've now got the two really hard ones. Let me know in the comments below if you've got this one already. Like we've got two hours, 90 minutes. This then goes backwards. This then goes back to 11 till 12.30. So is this the following day? But then we've got another 11 till 12.30. And then we've got 3 till 4.15. So there's half an hour when you're not doing anything. But there's three sessions which all clash with each other. And so considering you've only got Five, you've got five speakers. You've only got five events in this whole conference, including your keynote speaker, and you're going to have three of them clashing with each other. See, that's... That doesn't make any sense. Hmm, so I think it must be something to do with these times then.
but how would you incorporate those times together right that's an that's two hours one and a half hours one and a half hours like you could literally add up the number of hours that's an option Keynote speaker, Lucy Kingston, siphoning out the truth. Those are your four locations. The story of craft brewing from top to bottom. tricky one because I'm 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 pretty stuck on what we're looking at here Must be a pattern in the words or something, right? Or or maybe it is the numbers. From top to bottom eleven till four fifteen. But I tell you what as well, each of these has a each of these has a room in it as well. But this is a road show. It's going to four different locations. So you're not going to have the same room names in every one of those locations. Elias Hall, Elias Hall, Upfell, Elspeth, Newcourt. Hmm. Well, I am pretty stumped on that one. I am pretty stumped on that one. Okay. Let's have a look here. Uh, investigative journalist. Alice James, journalist. And it's not like you turn it upside down and her signature says a number. Because maybe you could have a, an ambergram, right? An ambergram where it says one thing one way up and then you turn it around the other way and maybe it says something else. You know? But if that is a number when read upside down, I don't see it. It's interesting that her name is kind of cut off at the top here. S O M M. Yeah, don't see it. Don't see it, to be honest. Uh, 
Yeah. Don't know. That would be quite clever. I don't know what exist tempt means in this context, though. Exist tempt. Is that like extension in Danish? Okay. Calling the number would be super weird, though. We could call the number. We could call the number and just see what happens. Should we call the number and see what happens? It might be an answering machine, right? Like the millennial in me wants to text the number, but it might be it might be an automated message. It's a mobile number because it starts with 447 and it's based in the UK, so it's definitely not Danish. Okay. I want to pause the recording here and we're going to have a look at what's uh, what's on that number. Okay, be right back. Okay, so we tried the number. That is not actually a real number. It, it's not connected to anything. So that's that one. Do we think we need a hint for these two puzzles? Shall we check out a hint? Okay, if I go to the puzzle post clues page, we've got the... Not the newspaper article. So we've got the business card. Interestingly enough, these are actually in the order in which you're supposed to do the numbers, aren't you? Because, yeah, the flight ticket is seven. The business card, we know that's number six. Five, four, three, two. No, yes, we want four. The collective beer flyer. Okay. So, which one should we take a clue for first? Should we take the collective beer flyer first? Hang on, I need a little bit more room over here. The Collective Beer Flyer. Clue number one. Bottles upon bottles of real ale. Even though this puzzle may make you pale, everything you need is on this page. Really, just look past your rage. Bottles upon bottles of real ale. Bottles upon bottles of real ale, even though this puzzle may make you pale, everything you need is on the page. I don't get it. I don't get it. That clue doesn't make any sense. So, okay, we've got the bottles at the top. Is it to do with the number of bottles you can see of each colour? Right. In which case, is it like 40, 47? Oh, do you know what it might be? Because it's blue followed by yellow. Is it 47? Because there's four blue ones and seven yellow ones. Maybe... That would be kind of wild, wouldn't it? But yeah, it's kind of interesting. They put these two, one here, one here, don't they? I mean, it could also be 58 if they're also counting themselves. Okay, right. That's maybe, maybe. Now let's get a clue for the business card. So the business card, clue one. Agna Arm. Agna Arm. Agna Arm. I don't, yeah. That doesn't make any sense. Agna arm. Agna arm. Agna arm. What? Uh, 
I mean, if we're happy with that one, we can remove it. But literally, this is all it is. This is all we've got to work with. Is Agna Arm supposed to be a reference to something? Okay, now nah, take it. Oh, do I want to take a second clue? Because then we're, then we're taking three clues. Let me know in the comments. Is Agna Arm enough for you to get this puzzle? Because it's not enough for me to get this puzzle. Clue two. Exist Tempt looks to be all mixed up. Ugh. It's an anagram. Exist tempt. Exist tempt. We've got six. We don't have a Y, so it can't be. So what's Agna Arm then? I don't know. We'll come back to Agna Arm later. But yeah, exist tempt. We don't have a Y. And we don't have an N. So it can't be teen. And it can't be 20, 30, 40, whatever, right? We've got an X. So it's very likely to have <laughs> a six in it. That's the only letter, that's only the only word that has an X that's a number. Exist tempt looks to be all mixed up. I hate anagrams. No good at anagrams at all. So, hang on, wait, but, like, any number above 19 must have a Y, right? Any number above 19 must have a Y, and any number above 12 must have an N. So... Am I am I just am I just not thinking about this correctly? I'm gonna use this as a bit of scrap paper. So we've got a T, an E, an M, a P, a T, an E. Tempt. Meat. Pet. Team. Then we've got PTT left over. So hang on, wait. What numbers can it not be? So like, we don't have a V, so it can't be 7. We don't have an N, so it can't be 9. We don't have an I, so there can't be an 8. We don't have an F, so that's 5 and 4 out. We don't have an H, so 3's out. We don't have a W. And we don't have an O. Oh, man. Come on, then. Right, what? God. Go on then. Right, we've got one more clue and then we can reveal the answer. Clue three. It's tips that Alice needs and you have her phone number. You can reach her on her UK number or her US number. But I've literally tried phoning that number. It doesn't go anywhere. What? 
It's tips that Alice needs, and you have her phone number. You can reach her on her UK number or her US number. Genuinely, I have tried phoning that number, and it doesn't go anywhere. Exist Temp is an anagram of text me tips. Text Alice the word tips. Her number is on the business card. She will reply saying the number you need is eight. The number you need... The number you text from won't be saved or used for any other purpose. Hmm... Fine. Okay, you have to text the number. You can't call the number. Hmm... Not... Ah, uh, do you know what? That one makes me a little bit sad. But that's okay. I mean, I have to admit that it's not its not unfair. Because... It does explicitly say, Text me tips. It would have been nice if the email address had been hooked up. Because that's what we tried first. But, okay, never mind. Let's see if our numbers down here give us the answer we are expecting. And I'm going to have to look up. I'm going to have to look up the, uh, I'm going to have to look up the URL. Hang on. Okay, so here's the entry screen for us to uh, put our numbers into. And do you know what? You can't actually see the button at the at the bottom, but that's that's fine. That doesn't matter. So, what do we have? We have eighteen. Ninety-seven. Thirty-six. Forty-seven. Fifteen. Eight. Oh no, that needs to be a zero eight. Ah, I've done it wrong. Hang on. A zero eight and a zero four. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Here we go. <sighs> Number four is wrong. Number four is wrong. Oh, we thought it might be fifty eight as a backup, didn't we? Let's have a look. No. No. 58 is wrong. Okay. Back to the clue. But all of all of our other ones were correct. All of our other ones were correct. So, we're on to the flyer. The clue we've already have is bottles on bottles of real ale. Even though this puzzle may make you pale, everything you need is on this page. Really, just look Past your rage. Okay. Now we thought there's four blue bottles and seven yellow bottles. So we thought 47, but that's not correct. The way it says from top to bottom, though. Okay, let's take a second clue here. I'd read it top to bottom. That's that's not even a clue. Or is it? You'd read it top to bottom. The large pouring siphoning validate or the where Elias large volume Elias pouring leaving up fell. You'd 
read it from top to bottom. I mean, you can read the whole thing, obviously, but that doesn't really give you anything. That's a terrible clue. Okay, what do we got? Clue number three. Top to bottom, letter by letter, bottles upon bottles of real ale, even though this puzzle may make you pale. Everything you need is on this page. Really just look past your rage. Well, that's just clue one again. And it says top to bottom, letter by letter. Beer. O V V E. T E E A L. What? No, that doesn't mean anything. What? T L P S. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What? T L P S V H A O I A Top to bottom letter by letter T W E L twelve plus seven Ah, oh, I can't believe we missed that. I can't believe we missed that. It's literally, it's T-W-E-L-V-E-P-L-U. Ah, oh, we should have got that one. From top to bottom. From to Ah, oh, we should have got that one. We should have got that one. 12 plus 7. 12 plus 7 is 19. What's the poem for then? Bottles upon bottles of real ale, even though this puzzle may make you pale, everything you need is on this page. Really, just look past your rage. Didn't really get that. Okay, fair enough. Right, 19. Let's try out 19. Okay. So here we go. 19. Fingers crossed. Hey, very good. Congratulations. Well done. You've pieced together the passcode, made it into the vault, and your message has been revealed. Let's hope it was worth the work. Message is, you did it. You saved Lucy. Excellent. Well, my friends, this has been Puzzle Post. Okay? Now, as I say, this is definitely uh, somewhat different to the kind of puzzle games we usually play. I had fun playing this. I had fun. We got very stuck on two different puzzles, right? This puzzle, ah, oh, we should have got this puzzle, right? This one, should have got it, should have got it. Um, puzzle number six, I think, was the only puzzle that was a little bit of a miss because it was a little bit unclear because there really is not very much to this clue at all but i will give them uh you know I, I, i'll give them a pass on that one the rest of the puzzles um you know there was a good variety of difficulty in these puzzles i felt um i think some some of them were very very straightforward some of them required a little bit more um nuance to them overall though i had a good time on this one so yeah if anyone fancies buying me another one of these i will gladly accept it um Thank you very much for watching this video today. If you enjoyed this one, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let me know if you'd like to see more physical puzzle games like this. It's definitely been uh, a little bit of a different experience. Uh, for now, though, have a great rest of your day, have a great week, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.